Hi, this is Emma from Stitched Up by Emma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet my football pattern. For this project, you will need DK yarn, a 4mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle and polyfilled toy stuffing. So we'll be doing our hexagons first. I'm going to create a magic loop by wrapping it round my fingers and crossing over to the back. Securing that with my finger, I'm going to insert my hook under the first loop, pulling the second loop underneath. I'm going to then secure with a chain. I'm going to work another three chains, so I'll have four chains in total. So this is going to count as a double crochet and a chain stitch. I'm going to work two double crochets into the magic ring. I'm going to chain one and work another two double crochets. Chain one and another two double crochets. These chain one spaces that we're making are going to be our corners for the hexagon. So I'm going to keep repeating two double crochets and chain one until I have five sets plus my chain four at the beginning. I'm going to work one more double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to the third chain and this will create the final two double crochets. So we'll have six sets in total with six chain one spaces. I'm going to slip stitch into that first chain one space and we are going to start round two. So I'm going to chain four. Again, this counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And into that same chain one space, I'm going to work one double crochet. Then a double crochet in the next two stitches. And then in the next chain one space, I'm going to double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Then working along the next side, a double crochet in each stitch. So that's two. At our next chain one space, we're going to double crochet, chain one and double crochet in that chain one space. And just repeat that all the way around.
on our final side we work the two double crochets into the stitches from the previous row and we're then going to slip stitch to the third chain from our starting chain of four and this counts as our last double crochet of the round. We're then going to slip stitch into that chain one space to start round three. Like before we're going to chain four counting our, as our double crochet and our chain one and then we're going to double crochet in that same chain one space. We're going to double crochet in every stitch until we get to the next chain one space where we will double crochet chain one double crochet and we continue doing that all the way around so double crocheting in each stitch and for every chain one space double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And now we're at the end, we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain from our chain four, slip stitch into the chain one space, and that is round three complete. We just continue this until we have five rounds in total. Here you can see I've worked five rounds and I've finished off by slip stitching into the chain one space before fastening off. Moving on to make the pentagons, it's very similar to the hexagons. So we're gonna start off with a magic ring. And we're gonna chain four. So that counts as our double crochet and chain one. We're then going to work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and chain one. And we're going to keep repeating this until we have four sets of two double crochets and chain ones. We're going to work our last double crochet into the magic ring and close it up and slip stitch to that third chain from our chain four at the beginning. You'll now have five sets of two double crochets and five chain one spaces. Slip stitch into that chain one space and we'll start round two. So just the same chain four, that's our double crochet and a chain one and into that same chain one space we're going to double crochet. Double crocheting into each stitch along Then when we reach the next chain one space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that space. Repeating this all the way around, just like we did with the hexagons. Finishing off the round by working those last two double crochets and then slip stitching into the third chain from our chain four at the beginning. Slip stitch into that chain one to finish the round. And we'll just keep repeating that until we have five rounds in total, finishing off by slip stitching into that last chain one space. We need to make 12 pentagons in total. You may find that they start to curl up, but this is okay. It will flatten out once you start sewing them together. Okay, we're going to start joining now. So I've got one of my pentagons, which is the black one, and a hexagon, 
which is in grey at the moment. I'm locating the first chain one on a corner and a matching at chain one space for the hexagon. I'm just going to thread it through both of them and just tie it with a knot to secure it. Then holding the two edges together, I'm just going to line up each stitch. So I'm going through the first stitch on the pentagon and the first stitch on the hexagon. I'm going to pull that through and then match in the second stitch on each piece. And I'm just going to carry on doing that all the way across lining each stitch up once I've made it to the end I'm going through both chain one spaces of each piece and I'm not going to actually fasten off here. I'm going to join my next hexagon to the next side of the pentagon. So going through that corner chain one space and again on the hexagon. And I'm going to repeat matching up the first stitch on each piece the second stitch on each piece and work all the way through until the next chain one corner space where you can then continue to add your third hexagon if you have enough thread if not fasten off and start again by securing with a knot in your first chain one corner space So here I'm adding my third hexagon. So again, lining it all up, going through that first chain one corner space and then marrying each stitch on the pentagon to the hexagon. And we're going to continue doing that until all five hexagons are attached to the pentagon. Now all five hexagons are joined to our pentagon, we're going to actually join along these lines, joining the hexagons to each other. So it's the same process going through that first chain one loop on each side and then matching up the stitches along. Once we've got to the end, we would add a pentagon into this space and surround it by hexagons. So we just want to go around sewing along the edges of every hexagon that meets a hexagon and every pentagon will have five hexagons surrounding it, sewing again along the joins that they meet. And we just continue to do this and it will start forming a ball. As you continue to add them, the hexagons and the pentagons, it will gradually curve up into a ball and all edges will meet. So here we've just got the final pentagon to add. So I'm going to attach it just as we have been doing, going through that first chain one space, lining all the stitches. And I'm going to attach three sides. So 
And it's at this point that we'll start stuffing the ball with your toy stuffing. You want to make sure that you add enough that it fills the entire ball without stretching too much of the stitches. Once you are happy with how full your ball is, we're just going to then close the two remaining sides. Again, just making sure that you're marrying up each stitch on each side. When you've made it to the end, we're just going to fasten off and sew in all of our ends. Once that's done, if you just give your ball a bit of a squish just to mould it into shape, and that is your ball complete. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.